What's up guys, a major conflict, and today we're playing Empty Shell Prologue, a horror game about a volunteer who signed a contract to conduct a recovery operation. We're on a secret facility on a Japanese island. We don't know any details, so let's get in and find out what's going on. It's pretty sick. Uh, let's get right to it. They make us get on the wooden boats. Weapons pointed at our backs. A backpack with a weapon and some ammunition. For the lucky ones, an automatic rifle. But fewer and fewer of them are seen. They say that we will find supplies on the spot. Even though no one has ever been able to confirm it. I never understood why they send us there one at a time. We might have a chance with more people together. I've seen dozens leave in the last few weeks. Men, women, young, old. No one ever returned. A new boat leaves the ship every 12 to 24 hours. I see them disappear in the fog, in the rain, and never seems to stop falling. They say that the facility is not far from here. No more than four nautical miles. A little more than three hours before reaching the beach. If the waves don't overturn the boat and they engulf you in the darkness of the ocean, next turn is mine. Yuko Fujimoto, female. Yeah, boy, we a chick. Uh, man, this looks fucking crazy. Ooh. It's got some kick, but that's very silent. How do we get some supplies? Oh, it's empty. Tutorial. Dodge. Use gadget. Use device. If equipped. All right, I think we're good to go. Let's go. Oh man, this is intense. Personal diary of Daiki Okamoto, December 2nd, 1954. The origin of this facility has never ceased to amaze me. The construction work started in 1948, just three years later, after the war, in 1949, the base became officially operational. The main technology behind studied SSLW, sub-speed of light waves, had been a prototype completed in 1950, the year in which the first signal to Alpha Centauri was sent. If I hadn't been here to witness the speed of the signal, only 30%, which the first signal to Alpha, shit. Only 30% slower than the speed of light. I myself couldn't believe it. Over the years, four more signals were sent, but we waited almost five years for the arrival to destination of the original one. We were thinking of an error in the communication system, when after less than two months, we received an answer. Shit, bro. Thank God. We can't do nothing. We broke as a joke. So who's got the money? Okay. That's the upgrade station. We're back outside. Let's go back over here before we venture too far. I'm sure we could use a shotgun to break these boxes, but I don't want to use ammo just yet. So 
something just shook the place. Must be a concert nearby. Oh, we got bodies. And the bodies hit the flow. And the bodies hit the floor. Oh, shit, son. Was not ready for that. Yo, back your goofy ass up, man. That was more than one. And how were you supposed to know they were there? <laughs> Crew locker. Turret with automatic rifle. I will take all of that. How we use it is another matter. Yo, what? Who are these guys? Oh, are these guys like zombies with guns or something? I got two shots left and then I got a crowbar okay so we got a map here interesting there we go all right ladies and gentlemen we are not in a good place right now not at all we're brought down to half health all right, well, let's see if we can just be a little bit more careful here. Room was clear. Draft of a letter. December 2nd, 1954. This is to submit a request for a hardware upgrade of the analysis, simulation, and internal communication systems. The amount of data has increased exponentially compared to what we were used to managing initially. The hardware in our possession is still functional, but the processing speed has decreased significantly. Below is a list of components necessary to normalize workflows and cover requirements for at least 24 months. 16 RAM sticks, 16 processors. 16 hard drives 500 megabytes preferably 896 goodness imagine really people were managing files and all type of stuff with megabytes back in the day crazy story yeah I ain't finna catch me slipping again there you go yeah can we can we melee how do we melee? Recording on a portable recorder. This is Tatsuku Marakami. I am terrible at pronouncing Japanese names. Security night shift of November 15, 1954. Note, a blockage of generator number two at 0209 hours. Manual restart required. I'm heading to the room, Iwata. I know the next night shift is yours. In case you don't know, the room code is 7167. Might be important to remember. Oh! Yo, these cats is on some other. What in the hell? Oh my god. Bruh. 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 What in the world? Yo, how do I? Oh, and this motherfucker right behind me, too. How do I switch weapons, bruh? Oh, God. Hello. We got to figure this out. Oh, we got to sprint. We don't want to go that way. Let's try to stay in familiar territory till I figure this out. Yo. 
my dude. I need to switch weapons. Where's that screen I was just on? This motherfucker, he coming through them doors. Oh God. There he is. You couldn't just let me be, could you? Portable turret equipped with a stand seat placed on the ground. A motion sensor detects any threats within a certain radius. The artificial intelligence software will evaluate whether it's terminated. This model mounts a 556 caliber automatic rifle. Well, I need to use it. There we go. Blow him away. Blow him away. Oh, God. Kill the master hand. You barely killed him. You motherfucker. This is insane. Where's the crowbar that I can see I have? Okay, so how do I use it? I don't want to drop the shotgun, but it's looking like I don't have a choice. What the hell is really going on today, guys? Oh god, here he comes. Come here, come here. I wonder if I can get them to kill him. Yo. Oh. I get it. We are the survivors. Each of <laughs> each of the new survivors is the next person that we play. So it looks like we're supposed to die. Yo, what? Such a goofy ass down. That's a new one. The layout looks completely different as well. Can we go out here? No. Okay. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, that kind of makes me feel a little more comfortable knowing that we were supposed to die, I guess. But if I could have got that crowbar out, that hand would have been done. I would have broke his fingers. I hate to tell you, my boy, you might not make it too long. I wonder if we get to keep the money. Yo, this is nuts. This is Haruki Iwata again. The afternoon shift researchers left a note relating to noises coming from the generator room number two. I'm going to check. Tatsuku, thanks for leaving me the code. I was not aware of the electronic lock in one of the rooms of the recording suddenly stops. Hmm. Okay. I wonder should I be concerning myself with breaking those boxes? So, I went from believing that was a concert to now that it's definitely Master Hand cutting up. Yo. Oh, shit. Here we go. It was not ex so I'm assuming once we run out of ammo, we just drop it. Uh, 
doesn't matter. We still can't do shit. Mm. Alright, you know what? Bump it. Oh, it was a trap. <sighs> Nothing. This room was a bust to begin with. Ugh. Put the jukes on them, boy. It was a trap. Oh. I do. Can I get some ammo, a safe area, you know, something to that effect? Get out of here. Nothing. A letter on a sheet of paper. Dad, your premonitions were correct. They are hiding something from us. We were told it would be a recovery operation for some isolated researchers, but that's not true. Something happened in this place. We found bodies, and there's blood everywhere. We are 25 in total. But this morning, there was a firefight, and now there are only eight of my fellow soldiers here with me. We don't quite know what attacked us, but absurd as it may seem, many of us swear they have seen some sort of huge hand. A human hand. Dad, but as big as an elephant. Are we going crazy? The tension is high, and there's a strong smell in the air, almost sweet. Sometimes it's hard to breathe. If I don't come back, I hope this message reaches you. I want you to know that I love you, Dad. Takashi. Well, my boy right here about to be, I hope he wrote a letter to his people because he's about to be out of here. Yeah, at this point, we're just exploring. Yo, we found him. Master Hand. Oh, they can kill each other. Interesting. But he won't be the one to find out. Kazuko Yamaguchi. She's gonna need a little bit more ammo each time. Okay. So I think what we're gonna do is adjust our game plan here. Oh shit. They didn't give me no time. Mum, how are you? Everything's fine. The staff is mostly male, and some colleagues are kind, while others, less kind. But I'm glad to be here. I think it's a great achievement that a woman is part of such an important research team. And there's also great news. It looks like we'll be granted 15 days off for Christmas. I can't wait to hug you all again. I love you. Say hello to dad and little Aiko. Miho. How'd you guys like my, uh, my little innocent bitch voice? Oh, we don't keep no money, bruh. What the hell? So... There's also objectives that we have to complete. I didn't get a good look at them. So, I want to say one of those objectives has to be killing that damn hand. We're going to murk his ass, whether he likes it or not. Oh, it's already dead. I just you know what next crate I come across I'm gonna hit it oh shit Got 162 cents. <laughs> so, okay, so this is the pool with that horse looking thing in it. 
So we're not too far off. Something's coming our way. Something's coming our way. I knew it. So we need to find the upgrade station. ASAP. Hey, we got some stuff. Damn, I only got three shots, bro. I'm tripping. Yo, they give you a melee item that I can't use. legs now. Where's those upgrade stations? Hmm. Alright. You know what? We're just gonna not, we're not gonna waste bullets on you. Got some shamblers. We ain't even gonna worry about them. Need to be more careful when these doors I'm opening. Oh, we can't go in there. Let's keep at seven one six seven. That didn't do jack. That was the code, right? Or was this a different code? Where the hell do they get guns from? Where's Master Hand, bro? Me and Buddy got beef to settle. Oh, if you find the other body, you get their money. Okay, okay. So this is not just a complete slog. Uzi magazine. Okay. So I want to say we were out here when we came across the hand. Or we were leading us to the hand anyways. Jesus. What's going on in here? Hey, we rebooted the laboratory generator. Okay. Hey, all right. We're doing pretty good right now. Also, no ledger. A ledger containing information on the equipment of an expedition that arrived on the island on January 4th, 1955. 120 Bengal? Or Tigers? 60 floor lamps, 4 diesel generators, 25 first aid kits, 200 military rations, and 5 fireman's axes. 30 gas masks, 30 flashlights, 30 spare batteries. Whatever that is, I need that. Watch out. Watch out. I ain't even fooling with y'all. I ain't fooling with you neither. Okay, so I think we did this already. The blockage of the generator number two. If we didn't, I guess we will soon. Yeah, I finally get a little ammo, and I gotta deal with this mess. I'm 
Yeah, boy. You ain't finna give me the same way you got me before. From T to Suda to N Nakata. Very original. December 12th, 1954 at 1722 hours. Noboru, I'm contacting you completely unofficially. It has been two days since we received the data reports and all kinds of signals sent here from the mainland to the facility gets no response. Do you have a problem with the generators? Do you have to report any kind of irrelevant, irrelevant, <laughs> relevant interruption to the SSLW project? I inform you that it has been decided to wait a few more days before an official verification of the situation is made. If you deem it appropriate, you can anticipate any problems to my personal address before I officially inform the board of the reasons for this anomaly. Takahiro. Yo, when did they have time to walk up on me like that? You got a gun? Yo, see, I need this ammo for hand. He been getting strong. Every death I've been getting, he been getting strong. Just working it. We got some shamblers. We ain't gonna worry about y'all. Y'all some shamblers. Oh. Now come over here. Oh, what? Yo, this was a setup, bro. Oh, this was a setup. Oh, this was a setup. <laughs> We're hand, my bitch. Yeah. Yo, so what is it? every time we die, the objectives just reset? All right, cool. All right. Yo, this ain't no good, bro. You think a laser rifle sounds good, but no, it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. stupid out here already. There's a few. Yo, who are these guys?
Uh, 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 breaking ankles. I need to break ankles. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep y'all around. Y'all got y'all uses. One generator. I didn't want to do this, Chuck. I didn't want to do it. found us. Hanny boy. Hanny boy. Oh shit. It's one of the generators. Damn. We've lost a lot of characters in that room. a chance to fart good. What's going on? So that's the main generator right there. Looks like. How do we reactivate it though? Why don't I get any of their guns? We're just trying to get information here at this point. That's the most valuable thing. Oh, you stuck, dummy. Got stuck. Trying to mess with the big dog. I don't got myself stuck. We just, we just need information. Need information. Well, you've been telling me we had health kits this whole time. Oh wow! Does that really make you feel like a dummy? <laughs> hey, you live and learn. could have sworn that we had activated a generator around this area somewhere. Alright, laboratory is on. We know laboratory isn't very far. Hmm. No, we do get to keep some things. Let's drop these. I wasted ammo on that. I 
keep them energy shells. I don't need that trash. Six eight zero five. So the code changes, it looks like. Drone. Yeah. Look at that. Six eight zero five. Got the job of shells. Pretty good right now. Let's uh go ahead and equip. Yeah. Just have it on us just in case. Is this the master hand room again? Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. This looks like the master hand room. Guess he decided to take out real estate somewhere else. drone perfect but at least we got a lot of ammo that almost makes me wish I would have held on to that just a little bit longer It's getting kind of dark back here. Oh. Okay. That's the exit. <laughs> hmm. This is cleared out so for the most part we're looking like we can move a little bit freely and we don't have to worry so much about being gang gang jumped getting my bones jumped or at least I thought so okay did he do anything Six eight zero five. Just a refresher. Generator cut back on and we off to the races. So when I go hug my mama, I ain't seen her so long. I'm gonna hug my mama. Can we get some upgrades now? We don't really have much we can buy.
I do have one more help, two more med kits. We got plenty of ammo. As long as we're smart with it. And we got ourselves a another drone could use. So we might be alright this time. Let's see, alright. That's a big room there and a big room up there. One of these is Mr. Hand's personal bedroom. I'm trying to stay away from that right now. We can't do anything out here. Okay. Ring around the rosy. Pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes. We all fall down. Okay. What's cooking back up in here? Okay, it's code six eight zero five. Oh, it's at the top of the screen. I don't know. I feel like even a further check ass. Hey. Now what do we do now? Just try to escape? I mean, I really want to smoke Master Hand though. This is his room, ain't it? Yeah. Now what? Bob it. Where he at? Did he somehow die? And I didn't know it? And then I wish to find his corpse. Hmm. He ain't here, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like he don't left the building somehow. I guess I'll take that cue and do the same. Hmm. We got some new stuff popping back up behind us that wasn't there before. Yep. Let's just make sure we're going the right way. Y'all tripping, boy. I'm ready now. I got Buku ammo. I don't turn on generators. Y'all ain't talking about nothing. Doesn't mean we're going to get reckless, but we can brag a little bit. Watch. It'll be some bullshit. Like he'll be right here in the end. I'm telling you. He shows up. I got something for his monkey ass. He ain't gonna like it. He ain't gonna like it. Did we go as far as we could go up this room? Okay, yeah. That was the max we could go. Wing building C. Continue. This place is hell. What are these abominations? The facility has been abandoned for decades. Where do they come from? Have they always been here? What do they feed on? No one ever told us that we would encounter down here. The contract only mentioned a vague execution of a list of tasks provided at the beginning of the job. I wonder how many would have given up knowing what horrors that were waiting for us. But basically, they chose us on purpose. Poor, desperate, empty shells. What would be the alternative? Dying of hunger and starvation in a corner of some dark alley? And yet, wouldn't it be better rather than being devoured by this nightmare far from any kind of civilization? 
I have to concentrate. The three electric generators have been rebooted. The list now reports some antennas to be realigned in building B of the East Wing. Oh, Subasa, boy, you're still alive. I line the antenna arrow. Hooray. All right. The game continues, baby. Continues. So, just keep being smart like how we were before. We should be fine. Unless Master Hand is sitting out here waiting on us. Yo. Are they crawling now? Yo, they blowing up. Okay. I see you boys been eating y'all Wheaties tonight. Shit. God damn. Commit a loop. Nah, we not gonna go that way. We'll go this way. Oh, it was a trap. They wanted me to come in this room. Alright. Oh, this is getting silly. This is just getting silly. I came in with a pocket full of bullets and I'm leaving out of here with nothing. You got a lot of money though. A badge of a facility researcher. Some details are shown next to the photo of a man in his 40s. Tatsuya Tamaki, Research and Development, Ergonomics Division. All right. Goodies? Yeah, goodies. Gotta drop some stuff. Yo, fuck this shovel, man. Can't do shit with that. I can't do nothing with that, Chief. All right, there's nothing back here. Now we remember that. Come on. It has to be on the safe side. Let me make sure that this was... Yeah, all right, let's talk about that was a box. By the way. Yo, these motherfuckers do not quit. They will follow you everywhere. But at least that clears a route. A couple of routes, honestly. God damn it. <laughs> hey, well, at least he cleared up the ones that were problems. For that, I thank you. Hold up. I can't go out the door? What kind of shit is that? It's blocked, but they could can they can come in, but I can't go out. That's uh diversity, equity, and inclusion for you right there. Mm. Alright. This will continue this way. January 4th, 1955. This is Mishima, recovery expedition leader at the facility. We disembarked this morning after an 11 day journey. The destination is in the middle of the Northern Pacific. Even at the command center, no one had any idea of the existence of this place. Mission details are scarce. We've been tasked to investigate the reasons for the lost communication with the facility, which occurred approximately four weeks ago. 
and recover personnel still on the island. The place is shrouded in darkness and in silence. A peculiarly sweet smell permeates the air. All the details of the floor plans are confidential, so we don't really have an idea of the size of the facility. At first glance at the outer walls, I'd say our expedition of 25 people is undersized. We're getting up some lamps for... A man can be heard calling loudly in the distance, then a recording suddenly stops. Spooky. Ooh. Come on, man. Yo, where, where's the ATM machines at, man? I, I need to spend this on something before I lose it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Got some steel plates and some more bullets. Can't go wrong with that. I think we need to go ahead and uh, switch over to our SMG. Equip that drone. Oh, armor. No shit. Yeah, boy. All right, cool. We're doing stuff now. We, we, we getting there. Slowly but surely. Get out of here. Yo, what in the fuck is going on? Yo, that. Yo, fuck them. Yo, it's a, a mess. I can't tell anything from anything. Yo, watch out. Mm, I already got a rifle. There's a lot of doors that lead nowhere. Yo, we're gonna have a nice size following here in a minute. We're gonna have to kind of trim the fat off this in a little bit. That fucking hand better not be in here waiting on me. Oh, God. You would think for an enemy that explodes, he would do more damage. But he doesn't do anything. Okay. There's a door there. There's a door here. Yo, what? Yo, they plan. Oh, man. Is it even worth it? Yo, we got lucky as shit. <laughs> Please don't let this have been for nothing. Ah, oh, an upgrade station. Awesome. All right, what, what do we need? We're down to 10 bullets left. And one med kit. Ten bullets and one med kit. I don't know the business is trying to waste money on stupid shit, so uh let's go with this. Let's buy a med kit. What caliber? What caliber bullets does this thing take? Small caliber. We need some small caliber. And we'll buy a med kit. All right. No, I don't feel like I'm just wasting my time. I did all of that to come over here for a fucking 
shop. Talking about anticlimactic. Hey guys, long time no see. Somebody's watching me on the camera. I'm just now uh, getting that part. Yo, what? These were all dead ends. That's foul. That's extremely foul. So where do we go? From here. All the way back up and straight ahead. Okay. Watch out, watch out, watch out. <laughs> I know I keep stopping at this crate. I'm like, there's nothing new in there. Okay. Take it. Ain't nobody worry about you, Chief. Yo, what exactly are these? Crabs or spiders or grenade? Hell yeah, I'm gonna take me some grenade. Take me some grenade all day long. Nobody touch me. None. It's better not be another one of those damn Jew trap rooms. Yo, what? Apparently, dude getting fucking smoked in this room. So where exactly are we going? Oh God, here we go with this bullshit. Keep the lights on for my baby, I might be back with some friends. December 10th, 1954. This is Nakata, technical director of the SSL project. Three days ago, Dr. Sato did not show up at the laboratory. He said someone to check his room, but he was not there. He hasn't been seen for the whole day. The next day, Najima, Nakajima and Nishimura did not show up. No one saw them or communicated with them. On the third day of the laboratory, only Harada showed up, visibly shaken. This morning, I was alone, not being able to perform any job without support. I went out for the first time in weeks for the lab during business hours. The corridors were deserted. I checked the security room. The monsters were on, but no one was there to control them. From the cafeteria, I could see that the kitchen was also deserted, and lunch was only 30 minutes away. The IT offices were empty as was the emergency room. There's more. Initially, it was barely perceptible. Then a sweetish smell spread throughout all the corridors of the facility. What kind of joke is this? I'll go to building B by evening. Hmm. Somebody spraying a uh, breeze. Somebody ass stank. Hmm. Why don't come running at me like that, boy? You don't know me? Fucking spider thing. Mm-hmm. Still going in circles. 
still going in circles. Boy, you got your life fucked up, boy. You ain't gonna hurt me. I don't come this far? I don't think so. I don't think so, sir. Yo! What? Why? What? Them guys was huge. Those guys were huge. Yo. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. Oh my God. Okay, I, I can admit I was not prepared for that development. Get off on fooling people? Is that, is that what this is about? I find it extremely bizarre that the other ones are clearly monsters to some extent, but they don't necessarily aim to fire on them, they aim to fire on me. So it like kind of leads you to believe are they under some type of mind control as well? Oh no, you don't. No, you don't. I saw. Oh, that's a dead end. I already know that much. I know that much. That's a dead end. That is a dead motherfucking end. Hmm. caliber bullets oh big boy big boy okay this room looks important please ensure the antennas are aligned oh uh, Hey, there we go. All right. So, we good? Go watch out. So, did that do it or what? Because I need to know. Hey. Hey. I feel like we're gonna have to go back to that room because I didn't get it. I didn't get a completion. Damn. Uh. Oh, what? So if it's online, then.
Hey, you don't even know. You got another one waiting right in front of me. Back up, Chief. I see he ain't running no more. Well, start running now. Guess we'll take it. I guess it didn't last long. Your boy need a turret. <laughs> God damn it, boy. A photograph of a smiling young couple and a newborn baby. It seems taken during a picnic. The three are sitting on a cloth spread out on a meadow. The image is overexposed, but the profile of some mountains can be seen in the background. A date is written in black ink, April 19, 1952. Yo, what the actual fuck is this? Oh my god, bro. Nope, oh, I ain't got no health kits. That's a wrap, baby. Yo, my dude, stop glitching. crazy part is I was in the room and I felt like I aligned the array and it didn't work and like nothing happened Bro, that was a fucking turret. You gotta be fucking kidding me, bro. bit of progress. Just a little bit. Not a lot. Okay. This might be our good roll right here. Might be our good roll character. 
Yeah, see, yeah, we have a, we have a better look now. Let's go ahead and slap that armor on. Okay. Let's ride. We might be able to get this baby done. We need a drone too. Got any drones? No drones. Drop this shit. Okay. All right, we go to the right, and then we can take the branching paths. This leads to nowhere. Oh. We originally came from this direction, no doubt. Yo, what? So buddy just got some free licks off me. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Yo, watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, bro. Yo, this is getting insane. Slug daddy yet. No. Alright, cool, cool, cool. What big boy yet? There you go. Buddy, do not be playing. Get your stupid ass out of here, bud. Now, where that slug at? Gotta make sure I remember where that is. Looks like the slug has vacated the premises as well. Keep going this way. Uh, at least we know we got a 50 cal if we need it. Alright, should be a branch into the server room, hopefully. This brought us nowhere. I need mediums. I need the magnum bullets. And health upgrade. Okay, that works. Take that. Keep that other shit. Mm -hmm. Alright, back up. What's with the laser grids? Well, that'd be a bad mistake going that way. I know that the damn room start opening up. I don't like that. 
Made me feel some type of way. And a hunting rifle. Okay. Let's go and sit back down. Don't even get up. So this is just trash back here. So when the hell was that other room that I was in the first time? So it looked like it didn't, wasn't doing anything. quiet I don't think I'm the only person who has noticed how stocks of upgrade stations run out so quickly that they can't meet the needs of all the staff I think one delivery every three months is insufficient two days ago during an experiment yes important there was a power drop in the laboratory no problem let's get an injury yourself for the nearest upgrade station needless to say they were sold out we had to cancel the experiment I asked anyone who was interested in actual progress in research and in avoiding stupid accidents like the one described to sign below. Thank you. Dr. Kimura, Research and Development. Eh, she's just crying. Oh, that petty yabba yabba yabba. Speaking of upgrade station, I think I'll grab me some. Uh... Another health kit. You never had too many of those. Hmm. So like we're starting to hit this weird. Um... Oh, hold up. Something right here. Yo. Well, now we know where the exit is. It's so stupid because you guys saw I completed the puzzle, but for some reason, I don't know if I had to just stand there long enough for it to complete but I did that puzzle yo if I see another energy cell I'm a nut up now we're playing a game of extreme backup Probably was that room with the laser grids, wasn't it? Yeah, it's definitely the laser grid room. supposed to get through here or what? So what we got? What we done? 
No, we're not supposed to get through there. So where in the hell is that generator room at? And believe it or not, I actually don't have that pattern timed down to like a science. I've just been getting lucky. <laughs> I know you could dodge through the laser beams, but that's about your only uh, real protection against that. Okay. Back into the large room. Is there anything in here that I should be aware of? I've already been down here. And I dropped something in here. Oh, like where is that server room? I can't remember where it is for the life of me. Because every time we respawn into the game, the map, like, turns. And although, like, nothing really changes, it's it's kind of disorienting. You can't really remember exactly where you came from. I'm sorry, guys. Had to keep constantly referencing the map I don't want to keep walking in the same direction there has to be something I'm missing there has to be oh uh, y'all just Waiting for me to come back, weren't you? Damn. Yo, the fucking laser is not doing his job. <laughs> Damn. And it was all going so well. So another piece I just realized in between each death, you notice how the enemies always come back. How many people are getting sent to this island to complete this volunteer mission? There's a lot of people dying in between each of our deaths. So, whatever this corporation is, they're some pretty evil guys. Pretty evil. Okay, we went that way before. I mean, if you guys could fuck with me just a little bit, that'd be great. I wasn't even trying to smoke, buddy. He just got in the way. I don't even know what upgrades right now. Another pointless room. I 
Uh, yeah, I gotta do better, man. Yeah, I gotta do better. Goof shit if you want to. Mm. Uh, it's Rain City out there. See it is. Cause they already told us what we about to do. I sure do. The old goofy ass spider thing. So stupid ass out of here. <laughs> I'm talking shit like I really had that under control. Oh shit. Where's the turret, damn it? What the fuck? What? You know what? We just gonna keep on walking like that didn't happen. Killing me with these these trick doors, man. Run right your goofy ass up on me if you want to. One of your greatest strengths in this game is learning to use the enemies oh shit I guess once each other okay good thing we got this hunting rifle thought you were gonna catch me lacking didn't you goofy ass and learn the hallway okay they already did Yo, Slug Daddy is back. Yo, get the fuck out of here, bro. Yeah, but we don't holler that boy out. <laughs> oh, my God. I guess I wouldn't call killing them a waste, but it just still feels like one. It's like, damn. Are we getting close to our objective now? Please. 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 Have mercy. Oh, 
I don't like wasting bullets on those guys. Alright. Get the H. See? This is what I gotta deal with. I had to take a L on that one. It's a big real is a real risk on that one. God damn it. Goodness. Alright, let's let's do this crate. Oh boy, we getting we getting real close. We getting real close here. We need to keep on moving. Damn. All right. Next, uh, I gotta buy some ammo and some health kits. We ain't really got much else to play with here. Yo, what the hell? I found my way to the exit again. Yo, this is ridiculous. Did they, did they get him? See the itty pity committee done finally found his way to catch up. Cool, cool. And a health kit. Alright. What we need. Get out of here. You're a damn by no damn shovel? What's wrong with y'all? to find that generator so we can get the hell out of here. Like I passed through some of the same rooms so many times, but it doesn't make no sense how it never lines back up with how I remember it. So it's just one of those weird things, I guess. Maybe it's me. shit going on. I knew it. That tried to trick me. Nabora, thank you for reaching out. I don't think it's necessary to remind you that the purpose of building B is, but just in case you forgot, here's a reminder. Cell culture of plants, free from anomalies typical of the environment in which we live, work, sleep, and every day. We should have, we should have forgotten this too. We feed ourselves. Okay. And our plants are very important for our nutrition, including yours. Unless you want to feed yourself with snacks from the upgrade stations, we will still try to do everything possible. Have a nice day, Daisuke Katawai. 
Okay. Okay, we got our whistle back. God damn. Now it works. What kind of bullshit is that? <laughs> you know what? I'm not even going to be mad. We got it done. That's, um, I guess, all I can ask for. Get out of here. Get out of here. You don't rate to touch me. You know what? All right. Um, exit. Exit. So we up, round. All right. Ooh, that was a bad shot. No way. Fuck all that. I'm not gonna be running. I don't came too far exactly. Start getting into a rush, and you know, you make bad decisions. You start going the wrong way. I don't need that. That boy is too slow to be fucking with me, man. Let's find y'all something else to do. Because this ain't it. It's like, when you're not looking for an upgrade station, you can't never not find enough of them. But, when you need one, nowhere to be found. Should be an easy wrap. Excuse me? Nobody told me that'd be a boss fight. Any special turrets on me or something? I don't. I just got fucking grenades. A backup chip. I ain't got time to be dying in no damn boss fight. Tighten up. Get your stupid ass out of here. Give me that. Mom, help me. Please. I can no longer live in this endless nightmare. I've been hiding in one of the staff locker rooms for months. 
The nights are a succession of sleeps tormented by atrocious cries of the aberrant creatures that crawl in the corridors of this place, now forgotten by humanity. There were nine of us, but one at a time, while searching for something to feed on, my colleagues never came back. I was left alone. I lost track of time. A few days ago, exhausted by hunger, I was forced to leave my shelter in one of the halls in Building B. I saw a still working solar panel clock. My heart stopped at my chest when I saw the date was February 6, 1960. It can't be. It can't be. have been all this time. Mommy, please come and get me. Come and get me with Daddy. I want to see you again. I want to see little Aiko again. I beg you. Biho. So, um... Uh, I, I mean... You can tell us there's some type of experimentation was going on here and that the researchers got caught up in. And apparently it, they lost track of time. They had been hiding from these creatures for so long. They just lost track of time. Oof, okay. Um, kills, 86. Well, uh, let's go. Thanks for playing Empty Shell Prologue. The two levels you've just completed are just a taste of what the content of the final game will be. This future basically depends on how well the prologue will be received. Making video games today for an indie developer is similar to what you just played, a bloodbath. I decided to make this short version of Empty Shell basically to test the result of gamers on gamers and understand if it makes sense or not to proceed with the development of everything else, which I'd really like to do, honestly. Therefore, to give me an idea of what to do with the life of Empty Shell, wish list the full game, blaga blaga blaga, blaga blaga blaga. See you soon. Alright guys, that was uh <laughs> Empty Shell Prologue. And I guess I wouldn't call it a demo, but I'm not gonna lie, it was intense. Um, it was a little bit of a learning curve, but once you get it, like once you really get what's going on, it's not too bad. Um, fun, fun game though. I think the full game is already out. Um, I'll probably play it at some point. Um, but as you see, even with two levels, I think I've been recording for like. A little over an hour and a half um so this ain't no no walking the park so i'll probably break it up into like part one two and so on however long it takes um but i hope you guys enjoyed it um i like playing this for you guys i hope that you do enjoy this and whatnot um and i guess i'll see you guys in the next one peace